There is yet another theory on why the Titanic sank, and this one is much more credible than a mummy's curse or the fact that it never actually sank at all. Royal Mail Steamship Titanic sank in the early morning hours of the 15th of April 1912 in the North Atlantic Ocean. Four days into the ship's maiden voyage from Southampton to New York City. It was the largest passenger ship liner at that time and it carried about 2200 people. Uh, it is believed that it struck an iceberg around 11.40 p.m. on Sunday, April 14, 1912, and it took a mere 2 hours and 40 minutes for the unsinkable vessel to sink, and that resulted in the deaths of more than 1,500 people. Now, if you find our videos interesting, please subscribe and click on the ship's bell to be notified next time we post a video. Ten days prior to the sailing of the Titanic, a fire began in one of the Titanic's coal bunkers, which was about the size of a three-story house. In total, there was around 6,600 tons of coal on board. The fire continued to burn for several days, even after sailing from Southampton. Fires were not that uncommon aboard steamships uh, because they burnt coal and sometimes there was spontaneous combustion. The fires could be extinguished with water by moving the coal to another bunker or by feeding it directly into the furnace. This has led some authors to theorize that the fire made the damage done by the collision with the iceberg much worse by reducing the structural integrity of the hull and at least one critical bulkhead. Author Sanan Maloney suggests that attempts to extinguish the fire by uh, shoveling burning coals into the steam engine's furnace may have been why the Titanic steamed at full speed despite iceberg warnings in the area. A powerful coal bunker fire can reach a thousand degrees Celsius, uh, which is about 1800 degrees Fahrenheit, and it may have caused damage to the hull that made the Titanic sink more quickly. The blaze may have severely damaged the bulkhead steel that was supposed to protect the ship and make it unsinkable. This fire may have changed the properties of the steel. Milani claims to have photographs of a dark diagonal mark about uh, 30 uh, feet long on the ocean liner's starboard side, which is the right side facing forward. Newspaper reports at the time, as well as a British inquiry into the disaster, stated that there was a fire on board at the time of the sinking. This theory suggests that from Southampton onwards, stokers aboard the cruise liner worked around the clock to extinguish the fire. Stokers who survived the sinking stated that the Titanic was a fire until the day before the ship struck the iceberg. A marine surveyor who inspected the ship three days before the sailing made no note about a fire. It was never on the survey of the ship. To add credence to the theory, the burn marks on the hull, shown in the photographs, were on the starboard side of the vessel that faced away from the dock and not visible by passengers on the port side as they boarded the ship, and even today this theory cannot be disproved because in 1985, when the wreck was found, there was too much damage to the stern portion of the vessel for any clear proof. Of the 2,200 people on board, there were an estimated 705 survivors, making it one of the deadliest peacetime maritime disasters in history. 
I'm Alan Stokell. Mm-hmm.